6B. So this is a double failure test. Price came back twice just to get rejected. Think of the failure test like a ping pong ball. If price doesn't bounce back like a ping pong ball, it's not a failure test. And what is failing? Price discovery. Lower prices, the attempt to make lower prices, that's what fails. When I have enough information, well, that point to me, in this case, it would come probably after this one, but definitely after this one. At this point, that's 126. My signal came at 128. This is a price difference. And this is an important concept too, please. If you want more certainty, you have to be content with the worst price. If you want to get a better price, that goes with less certainty. So if you want to go long here, BT will not give you a signal here because BT was built for one thing, to give you the reemergence of momentum. You will understand that there's many other opportunities to go to enter the market on other candles too. So this is one such situation where you may want to use ProSTR and to say, I'm ready to go long. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't work. Now, having said that, if you are the more cautious or if you just want total discipline and just go to reemergence of momentum and nothing else, that's a completely valid venture. But I'm going to wait for my job. This is when my job is coming up and I'm going to go along here. That's perfectly fine. Here is the result of sticking to what BT is giving you. And here is what I'm teaching you today, a little bit more extra, a little bit more insight of how to read price action. Also, if your BT signal was preceded by this, what I just described to you, failure test number one, confirmation, breakout number two, penetrating the Keltner number three, pulling back, this here is number five, event number five. How many pieces of information do we need to have confidence in taking this, this opportunity? 